welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all staying warm wherever in the country you may be. I am in Iowa and the high temperature for this weekend is zero degrees. So, <laughs> yeah. So I guess you could say I'm missing Florida a little bit more than usual. But I am back here to cover a frequently asked about topic and that is Walt Disney World Resort Hotels. I know. So for those of you who know there are a lot of Walt Disney World resorts. There are more than 25 Walt Disney World resorts on Disney property and that doesn't include the resorts in the surrounding areas. Um, like the Disney Springs hotels, the Good Neighbor hotels. But what we are going to be talking about are the resorts that are technically Walt Disney World resorts. And we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. But just so you know, there are three main categories. There are value resorts, moderate resorts, and deluxe resorts, which include villas and club level and all that fun stuff. So for this video we are going to be talking about the value resorts at Walt Disney World Resort. For those of you counting along, let's see how many times I can say resort in this video. Anyway, so let's get started and talking about the value resorts at Walt Disney World Resort. considered value resorts at Walt Disney World. The main three that people think of when they think of value resorts are the all-star resorts. These are all-star sports, all-star music, and all-star movies. So the three all-star resorts. And when looking up information, they all just kind of lump them together because they're all the same thing except different theming. Then we have Pop Century Resort and last but not least at all, is Disney's Art of Animation Resort. So value resorts are going to be the least expensive of your options, but still give you the luxury of staying on Walt Disney World property. On Walt Disney's World website, currently it says that the following are what the prices start at. Note that pricing depends all the time on the time of year you're going, the length you are staying, and if there are any promotions involved whatsoever. But this is just a jumping off point what they say on their website. The all-star resorts start at $96 a night. Pop Century starts at $108 a night and Art of Animation Resort starts at $127 a night for their standard room. Alright, so let's talk a little bit more about what the actual resorts entail. So, Let's talk square footage. You probably guessed it, value resorts are the smallest room size of any of the resorts on Walt Disney World property. For the all-star resorts and pop century standard rooms, you're going to get 260 square feet. At Art of Animation, the square footage is 277, so about 17 square feet more. That is for their standard rooms. Now, the only exception for the value resorts is that all-star music and Art of Animation come with family suites. There are only a few at All Star Music, but Art of Animation is a majority of family suites, meaning you can sleep up to six people plus one child under three in a crib. The family suite in All Star Music is 520 square feet, and the family suites in Art of Animation are 565 square feet. Another thing to note with the size of the room is the size of the beds in Value Resorts. Value Resorts are all double beds instead of queen size beds like you'll find in Moderate and Deluxe Resorts. So you either get two double beds or one king size bed. At All Star Music's family suite, it comes with one queen size bed and then one double sleeper sofa, so the sofa folds out for a double bed, and then two different twin size beds. So say like the ottoman is a twin, and then I think a chair would be a twin, like it could pull out to be a twin size. The family suites in Art of Animation are a little bit more accommodating for 
sleeping. It's one queen size bed, one double sofa sleeper, and then another double pull out. So it would be two, two, two instead of an art of anime in, in all star movies where it's two, two, one, one. If that makes sense. Another thing to note with the Valley Resorts is there are no table service restaurants located on the resort property. You will only have a quick service cafeteria type thing. Food court, I guess you would call it. But no table service restaurants. They do all have pools, which is really great. But there are no water slides if your children were looking for water slides. If you were wanting a pool that had more accommodations and more fun for the kids, I would definitely look into moderate or deluxe resorts. They are all equipped with at least one water slide. If you've ever looked at photos of value resorts, you'll notice that they are the most kid-friendly theming. I say this because there are giant bowling pins. There are giant Dalmatians. Art, I mean, Art of Animation is all about the animated movies. So the standard rooms we were talking about earlier that sleep up to four adults are Little Mermaid rooms. And then the family suites are Cars, um, The Lion King, and Finding Nemo. All Star Movies has fun movies that you can think of like Toy Story and 101 Dalmatians. All Star Music is celebrating music and there are giant banjos and there are giant... What other music things do you play? Keyboards, I guess. But everything is larger than life and really, really kid-friendly. If you're maybe going on an adult-only trip and you want something a little more muted and a little more luxurious, maybe the value resorts aren't for you. So what are some of the accommodations that are at value resorts? Well, like I did mention, there are pools. All of the all-star resorts have two heated pools plus one children's pool, and Art of Animation and Pop Century have three pools. They also have arcades that are located within the resort, as well as running trails if you did decide to run. I had never have. I'm always like, yeah, running trail, awesome. Never once have I ever brought my running shoes to Walt Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I ever do a Run Disney event. And then there are recreational activities like the famous Movies Under the Stars where they will show a Disney film outside under the stars. Ah, they're so clever. Although, yes, it is a value resort, you still get free transportation to and from the parks plus to the water parks and Disney Springs. The one downhill, though, is that on the slower times at the all-star resorts, they may share a bus. So, of course, in the morning when everybody is trying to go to Magic Kingdom, each of the all-star resorts, which are right next to each other, by the way, they go sports, music, movies. You could technically walk to one or the other if you really wanted. So say you are staying at All Star Sports and you want to go to Magic Kingdom at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and not that many people are going, so they will pick you up at All Star Sports and then take you to All Star Mo Music to pick up people and then to All Star Movies to pick up people. So not the most convenient. As for Pop Century and Art of Animation, they are not within walking distance of All Star Resorts but they are within walking distance to one another. There is a nice little pathway, so if you are staying at one or the other, you can easily walk over and explore. Note that when staying on Walt Disney World property, you cannot go to any other resort's pool, but you can still go and use their same quick service dining locations or shop in their store, anything along those lines. Most rooms at Value Resorts come with a mini fridge, so if you check in and notice you do not have one, do not fret, you can call housekeeping and request one. Although you're staying at a Value Resort, you can still take advantage of all of the benefits of staying on Walt Disney World property. That includes using the Magical Express to and from Orlando International Airport, getting complimentary magic bands, taking advantage of the Disney dining plan while you're there, refillable resort mugs, and also taking advantage of extra magic hours at all four theme parks. So although Valley Resorts are the least expensive option when staying at Walt Disney World property, you can kind of see their pros and cons. Yes, the rooms are smaller, the beds are smaller, but you still get all of the benefits of staying on Walt Disney World property if you are on a smaller budget. I would love to know, have you stayed at a value resort before? 
Which one? What did you think? What did you love? What did you not like as much? I want to know. Let me hear it. I would love to pick your brain. Oh, that that's just five of the Walt Disney World resorts and there are so many more. So there is a lot to take into account when planning your Walt Disney World vacation. I know it can be overwhelming so I always recommend booking with an authorized Disney vacation planner to help you every step along the way. Even if you're a really big planner and you have all of these ideas for you and your family, you should still book with an authorized agent because even though you have all these grand ideas, they will be there for help if you ever need it. And if you just ever have a question or don't want to do something yourself, that's why they're there. So I know I covered a lot in a little span of time, but I hope it was informational and beneficial to you and your family. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to follow me on social media, on Instagram at The Magical Miranda, and on my Facebook page, Magical Moments by Miranda, where I always share the latest and greatest updates with the Walt Disney World Resort. All right, thank you guys again, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Come on.